Hey guys, Jeff here again. So, USPS. <laughs> oh boy, it's a mess right now. Packages all over, all over the country, delayed. Like just stuck in limbo. You have, you dropped them off at the post office. Then what? Pretty much all mine have been scanned in at my local post office. And quite a few of them, it says it left my local post office, that's it. A week, week and a half out, no updates. Sometimes they're getting to local distribution centers and then they're just sitting there. Again, weeks going by, nothing. Extremely frustrating for both us sellers and for our customers. That's something to keep in mind you're definitely going to be frustrated because you're worried you might have to refund people but your customers are also equally as as frustrated because they're looking for items they're not showing up they paid for them they're not getting them a lot of them are very frustrated as well so be very understanding when you're communicating with them don't be snippy don't be short with them you know generally if you can point out some things to them they will hopefully be somewhat understanding Especially, for me, one of the biggest things I'm doing right now is I'm pointing out that you bought this on, let's say, December 9th. You can see the tracking. December 9th, same day you purchased it, I dropped it off at the lo my local post office. It was scanned in there. It went to this location. It's currently sitting, but wherever it's sitting, tell them that, you know, I understand your frustration. But it is currently in route. The USPS is having issues all over the place. It's been a nationwide issue, and I, now I'm going to look into this for you. Then what you can do, go on USPS's website, click on their find my package thing, put in a, a package search request. It may not do anything to get the package quicker to them, but I've been noticing that my customers are much more, I guess, less angry and pissy at me if I do that. Because then they can see, and it even shows up on the eBay tracking that you initiated a lost package request. So they can see that. Now eBay is giving you a little bit of protection. I honestly don't think they're doing enough. They are giving you some protections if it shows it's been scanned in. So what now? What? How do you do this going forward? I mean, we're at the pretty much the tail end of the of you know Christmas buying for people. If you have Christmas gifts. You can still send USPS. Some things that might be the only economical way to do it. There's also FedEx, UPS. Now I will tell you, I have UPS packages also in the same situation. So this is not unique to US, USPS. This is everywhere. I haven't had the same issue with FedEx yet, but I send very few things with FedEx. Probably, well, for me, mainly, the drop-off point for FedEx just is not convenient. So if I'm going FedEx, it's got to be good savings over anyone else. I did send out two in the you know, past week, and they arrived in three, four days. So maybe that's an option. Don't know. Anyone have any issues with FedEx? Are you also having issues with... I know you're having USPS issues. Everyone is. Trust me. Some things go through just fine. Other things just... Are you having any, any of you guys having issues with UPS? I'm having some. Not as bad. Now, some of my bigger items, I am not sending them USPS right now. But what else can you do? I mean, the holiday season is just about over. How are you going to get these items sold? You may buy inventory specifically for this. Well, I'll tell you this stick them on Facebook Marketplace at a fair price. It might be a little bit like kind of take you know, like maybe your eBay price minus what your fees and everything cost would be. Stick it out there. Now don't just put it on Facebook Marketplace. Join all of your local buy sell groups, the the biggest ones. You can find those for your local area. Join all of them when you post it there, post it to both Facebook Marketplace and every single one of those you, you can get get into. And what's going to happen? 
I actually do not recommend doing chipping on those either because you're gonna be in the same boat. But all the people in your local area who are expecting Christmas presents said now they're in limbo too. They ordered them online. What are they gonna do? They're gonna look for other options. And if you are selling something they can buy for Christmas and they can, you know, come and get it from you at a good price, they're gonna do it. I guarantee it. I've started doing this and I'm getting messages almost every day. Now luckily for me, I'm in a pretty nice area, so I'm fine. I put the item on the porch, have them leave leave the cash. You know, they usually put it in an envelope, put it between the screen door. My wife's usually home, she grabs it. No contact, which, you know, everything else going on, which is kind of when the root causes all this, and you know what I'm talking about. People are really liking the non-contact pickup. I haven't had anyone scam me or anything like that yet, but judge for yourself. I mean, if you're in an area where if you set something on your porch, you're gonna have a couple people, you know, circle your house a few times and be gone. Maybe don't do that. I've never had the issues. I even live on the, one of the main roads of my town. So, yeah, judge for yourself. If you do face-to-face -face pickups, be smart, be safe, you know, public area. I don't care if you think face masks do anything or not, wear one. Not only for you, I mean, you're not, if you don't wear one and the person who shows up wants to be wearing one, they're gonna give you a bad review. If no other reason, wear one for that, okay? Just, I don't wanna have an argument about that. Just wear one. You know, try to keep some distance, have them pay you what well, I've been doing, cash an envelope. I ask them, cash an envelope unsealed. That way I can open up, I can quickly just without, without touching, I'm barely touching it. Check it, boom. Yep, that looks like 15 bucks to me. 20 bucks, whatever the price is. Then I'll stick the envelope somewhere for a couple days just to make sure, yeah, I know. I don't care if I get sick. If I get sick, my kid might get sick. So yeah, I'm taking some precautions. Because I don't care if it's, you think it's just the flu. I don't even want my kid getting just the flu. Okay? Sorry. But people out there right now, they if they're not getting their Christmas presents, they're going to be looking for them. If you're, like, if you're kind of in the hot zone, maybe they don't want to go to the store. Maybe the store doesn't have what they want. Maybe you have what they want or something like it. And really, especially if you're going into those groups... Think of the time. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. If my computer worked better, I would edit that out. But I'm sorry, I have to leave that one in because my computer is not that great. But think of the time that you are listing these items in there. The peak times that people are going to be looking at them is going to be after work till about 9 p.m. So, like 5 30 p.m. to about 9 p.m. is like the peak time to list these things. And when I list them in those times, I'm almost always getting hit almost immediately, usually from the Facebook groups. Not so much from General Marketplace, usually it's the, my local Facebook buy sell groups, because boom, your item's at the top right when you have the peak amount of people looking. So don't list it at like 2, 3 a.m. You can do it, if that's all you can do, sure, do it. You'll get some views, but you're not gonna get that, ooh, that big hit. And be nice to those people, you know, Honestly, I don't think most people are trying to scam you, even locally. Maybe it's just ignorance of me where I'm living. You know, nice area of barring old Wisconsin. If you're in like East LA, maybe you have a different story going on. I get it. Yeah. So what issues are you guys having? Are you having any issues at all with shipping stuff? And to me, it's so random. Some things I'll ship perfectly fine. Are things I, I ship, they get to some stage and they are just like, they vanish. Be understanding with your customers on eBay. Amazon, I think, Amazon is just, I believe they're just gonna make you eat it, unfortunately. eBay might make you eat it, but you know, they are kinda trying, like read their most recent updates, they're kinda trying a little bit, better than nothing. 
other platforms. I'm not on them enough to really tell you much about them. But, you know, when one opportunity closes, another one opens, always. Yes, true in life, no matter what we're talking about. So, boom, selling eBay, most things for Christmas are not getting there now. It's just, it's gonna be too late. So go local. And you can even put it in your post. Maybe this little extra thing you can add at the end of it. Please support my local small business by making your purchase. People are looking to buy local right now. They know local businesses are hurting. They ask where you get this. They go, well, I run a I run an online business and sell these things, but currently with this situation, I had to move more locally. I said that a few people. They said, well, well hey, oh, you're a local business? What else do you got? Oh, hey, what are you looking for? I got like this. If you're looking for toys, I got this, 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 this. If you're looking for electronics, I got this. Boom, 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 boom. So, is there anything else you're looking for? I probably have it somewhere. I mean, pfft. yeah, you see my death pile. I got stuff everywhere. So, improvise, adapt, overcome. We're at the end of the fourth quarter, we're at the end of the holiday buying season. You got to make your impact now. And what you get, sit on that cash that you get right now because if we have to do massive returns it could hurt it could really really hurt so make sure you don't spend that entire fourth quarter wad right now sit out for a little bit until we get through the return windows so let me know what issues you guys have seen down down below what are your hey do you have any other strategies how you're gonna adapt and overcome to this yeah you know, mine's just one idea but I'm sure as a collective we can think of more put them down below all right I'll see you next time and hopefully we get through all this bye bye